if you're looking to grow your hair oils are extremely crucial in your hair care routine and if we're going to look at products as a whole and we look at the importance of all of those products hair growth oils honestly in my opinion are right there at the top they are so important if there's one thing you really have to get right it's your hair growth oil so much so that we are now making a whole video on hair growth oils that's how deep this is okay period San Banani Ninjani, it's Zinkia Africa and in today's video we're talking about all things hair oils. This is one of those things for me. I think for the past few years I have not gone without a hair growth oil. So I live in South Africa and for us we have hair food and then we have hair growth oils. So and it's said that petroleum can clog your pores so personally for me i moved away from the hair food and i moved into hair growth oils because that's something that i could make and over the years i have looked at different brands and their formulation of the hair oils <laughs> i'm gonna be a little bit controversial here but all of these oils have a similar formulation to be quite honest with you and what makes the best of the best hair oils are the ones that are organic and the ones that have too many chemicals and things we don't understand those are usually the worst and the cheapest so when it comes to hair growth oils or even hair food like you don't buy the cheapest product you make sure that you are buying quality products and if you cannot afford that then you make your own formulations like there is no there's no in between a lot of the people that aren't happy with their hair are using the wrong products for their scalp they don't know how to use certain things granted there are some hair foods that don't even have petroleum in them but there's still like chemicals in there so um we need to do better and yeah these brands need to do better i'm going to be encouraging you to look at the ingredients in the hair growth oils make sure that the essential oils are there and that it has less chemicals make sure you understand everything that is in that bottle if there's certain things that you don't understand it's probably not going to be the best oil obviously there are some exceptions um but i find that when i compare them because i do tests i do challenges i make sure that i'm getting the best of the best and also looking at how my hair responds to certain things and um so far always as always it's always the case guys the more organic the more natural the product the better your hair will respond to it you know this is my natural hair natural body natural skin tone so when it meets natural products it's like it's a match made in heaven like there's there's no separating it you know it always works out so the first thing i want to do is i want to look at the key oils that are in hair growth oils um so the first is castor oil castor oil is such a great oil guys it's nice and thick we love it the second oil that that is crucial if your hair growth oil doesn't have this in it you know it might work but please once you have an oil that has peppermint oil in it like life-changing you really can't switch back and rosemary oil also is really 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 good so those are the three oils in terms of application guys <laughs> When I tell you, my life changed when I started doing this with my hair growth oil. When I sprayed water on my scalp and then followed with an oil, like, I have no words. It's next level. Like, next level level thank me later i know a lot of people know about this but some people don't so please like please and never let your scalp go dry whenever your scalp is dry 
oil it please put some water and oil it you know don't let your scalp go dry for days it's not gonna help you it's not going to help you it also makes you feel uneasy like you know there's something wrong with your scalp please do something about that okay so in terms of how often you do it that's going to be up to you um you look at your hair you look at your scalp you see you know what i want you see what's going on um that's that's not something that i can recommend it's different from person to person personally for me i oil my scalp every single day i don't know what build up is i've never seen it I don't know her, you know, a uh, product buildup. I think naturally when you've got braids, you'll see that little bit of buildup. But in terms of just overuse of a product, I'm quite generous, you know, with my products on my hair. So it's just different for me. But you know what? I'm not saying every day for you, but I'm just saying for me, I own my scalp every single day and my scalp loves it. And that's my routine personally. If you can, please massage your scalp after you have applied the oils. It's just the next step. You know, when I tell people that I massage my scalp, I don't think people believe me. Like, I don't think they get it. But I actually massage my scalp. I have a video on this. So, yeah, I'll link the video down below. But, like, massage your scalp. That was um, hopefully a short video on hair growth oils. Some people are using them wrong and that hurts me. <laughs> that hurts me. So please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel because I've got gems on gems on gems. I've got the knowledge, okay? And I've got the experience, the experience. So um, make sure that you comment, you know, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Have you been using it the right way or nah?